Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your love reading. This is going to be a 411 love reading where we're going to get the 411 on your connection. This is going to be everything you need to know about how you feel about each other, um, what you don't know about the connection and need to know about the connection, what's challenging the connection, any hidden factors, and the potential outcome. This will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs, but it will not resonate with everyone watching, so keep that in mind. All right, let's get into this. Messages for Cancer, please, regarding love. Messages for Cancer, please, regarding love. Messages for Cancer, please. Tell me about how Cancer is thinking or feeling about this connection at this time. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Um, I think that to me, as a reader, this is just a card about spirit being involved in some way. I get one more for Cancer. I get one more, please, for Cancer. Passion. Allow your heart and joy to sing. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I feel like spirit, um, something that's going on here, whether this is um, spirit orchestrating this situation or divine timing, this is something that I feel is going to make you very happy and also something that is really motivating for you in the sense that I don't know why I'm picking this up, but it's almost like it's almost like what I'm picturing is someone about to start a race. Once the race starts, it's like you go full speed ahead. I feel like one spirit drops whatever they're dropping or starts this connection or inspires something in someone to get this connection moving. I feel like right now that's what I'm picking up. Like the connection's not really going anywhere. But spirit is involved, and once spirit becomes involved, things start moving. Okay, let's see. Let's see what your person, what we get for your person. Tell me about, hold on. I haven't even asked my question. Tell me about Cancer's person, the person that they're in a connection with. What are they thinking or feeling at this time? The person that Cancer is in a connection with. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Okay, so bottom of the deck, I have give your relationship a chance. So I feel like this is someone that probably will be asking for you to give them a chance. And it's probably somebody that you have to keep an open mind about. I have you on one side here, Cancer, and your person on the other. But feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. All right, so let's pick an oracle card here. Mutual energies, spirit. What is going on in this connection? I'm using my energy oracle deck. You can get this in my shop. If you're interested, it's a deck that you can print at home, so it's very affordable. Tell me about the mutual energies here between Cancer and this person, spirit. What are the mutual energies here? Oh, we got pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Interesting, we got passion as well. So there could be a very like passionate attraction here. Anything else that you can tell us about the mutual energies here? A lot of lust. We got mirrored souls, soulmate, faded love, twin flame. You both mirror each other in this connection. So we got two cards here about soulmates. Um, and then bottom of the deck, time out, timing, patience, uh, waiting time is of the essence. I feel like you know again spirit is involved in some sort of divine timing here All right, so let's get into this Messages for cancer please in regards to love Messages for cancer please in regards to love So I'm just going to pick all of the cards here. I did that for Scorpio and it worked out well. Maybe all of these placements, please. For Cancer. 
see what we get for you guys. Three of Wands. Waiting energy here for you. Six of Wands. You're waiting for something to have, yeah, success here. Ten of Coin. I feel like um, you're looking for something long term. And it's almost like you're in a waiting period, waiting to hear back from someone. Um, I feel like in your mind, this is successful. Or has the potential for success. We have for your person, death reverse, five of swords reverse. Wow, yeah, something happened between you here. Scorpio energy with the death card. I feel like someone wants to, um, even though something difficult might have happened in this connection, someone doesn't want it to be over or they doesn't want they don't want it to end. Yeah, nine of cups reverse. If you guys are in a separation right now, this person, I feel like they're not emotionally satisfied or fulfilled. Perhaps they got their nine of cups, but it wasn't what they thought it was going to be. We got the wheel reverse again, more with timing and Knight of cups reverse. So something hasn't come together here and it's been um, a bit heartbreaking for you, I feel, or for both of you, because this is mutual energy. So you're both here. Can I get one more for the mutual energies, please? Between Cancer and this person. Get one more, please. That's way too many. But yeah, temperance here at the very top. I'm not going to take this, but it fell. Um, there's something here with timing. I got time out. I got uh, religious factors. I got the three of wands, the wheel reverse. Okay, one more for the mutual energies, please. Hierophant reverse, Taurus energy, bottom of the deck, nine of coin reverse. Interesting. Someone here between you could be attached to a situation or a person not free of a commitment or not free of expectations that society has set in place here. You know, the font reverse is someone that's kind of rebelling against societal pressure or social pressures, expectations. We'll see. Let's clarify. Don't change this class. Help me clarify these messages for cancer on your side cancer i feel like you're waiting for success and i feel like there's it's almost like the timing has always been wrong in this connection or something feels stuck in this connection here maybe someone hasn't opened up about how they truly feel with the knight of cups reverse let's see let's look at you over here first why are you waiting for what's this three of wands about here there's the three of wands here Five of Pentacles reverse. You're waiting to, for a recovery of some sort, for there not to be um, a distance or um, a disconnect between you. Yeah, Ten of Cups. I feel like you you want your happiness to be with this person, or you want things to work out with this person. You want, you know, domestic bliss, family. Like you know, you have two tens over here, so it's like you want it all. Tell me about this Ten of Coin. And now again, like I said, um, feel free to flip the roles. I have you on this side and your person on the other, but they can be vice versa. Tell me more about this Ten of Coin. Four of Wands. Yeah, you want like marriage with this person. Maybe this is what you're waiting for. Hangman reverse. You could also be um, waiting for someone to kind of like overcome whatever they're stuck in in order to do this. It's almost like if you're waiting for a second chance, there's something in the way. It's going to be different for everyone. Tell me about death reverse. Where's that fell? Okay. So we have the star. The star did fall on the floor upright. Aquarius energy. Again, it's like someone has this wish to not have things be over. Tell me more about death card reverse, please. 
High Priestess, this is way too many here, but the High Priestess reverse. Tower reverse, interesting. Okay, so it's almost like someone hasn't spoken up here or has something to say. Let's see, tell me more about the Death card reverse, please. The world, damn, this is all major arcana here. Your person, I feel, does not want a cycle to end or wants a new one to begin with you here. You know, this is hope for or faith in a new beginning. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Five of Swords reverse, please. Ah. Queen of Swords reverse. I want this one too, I guess. Three of Pentacles. Okay. So maybe words were exchanged. There was something that someone said that they wish they could take back. Um, maybe someone was deceptive here in the past. Um, I feel like something has happened between you to cause a disconnect. You know, this down here, because I'm going to use it in a little bit. And then three of pentacles. It's almost like this has to do with effort or there's three people here. Tell me more about this five of swords reverse. It's like someone here, something wasn't working or someone wasn't putting in effort. Let me get one more please for this five of swords reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Someone could have made the wrong choice or they were tempted to make a different choice and it's it, it was probably they're, they're regretting that, that decision. Eight of Swords reverse. Maybe that choice trapped them somewhere and they want to make a different choice now. Five of Swords reverse. This is someone that, you know, if they were trying to take advantage of a situation, if they were trying to be deceptive, if they, if they were trying to win at all costs, it didn't work out for them. It could also be that someone wants to wave the white flag, you know, overcome whatever challenges there was between you, no longer be fighting or having conflict with you. But I really feel like this was like a words that were said or or a or some sort of deception, something that was hidden from someone. Um, it'll be different for everyone, but I feel like something happened between you that caused kind of like a disconnect. That's just what I'm picking up so far. Tell me about this Nine of Cups reverse. Nine of Wands. Whatever. This person's very dissatisfied with their situation. Um, I feel like they've been through hell <laughs> or through a very difficult time. Ace of Pentacles reverse. They could be having financial difficulties or breaking free of some sort of a commitment here. Tell me about the wheel reverse. Five of Cups reverse. Tell me about the wheel reverse. Someone wants to recover what they've lost, but the timing, the timing is off. What's this? Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords. Interesting. Tell me about the wheel reverse. I'm not picking those up, by the way, because the reason they're falling is because I, my hands aren't big enough. And so cards, my shuffling is not the best with these sets of cards. So, you know, it's not that spirit is choosing those cards is that it's sloppy shuffling. So that's why I don't really pick them up. Tell me about the wheel reverse. Strength reverse. No, not reverse. Tower reverse again at the bottom of page of swords. Okay. So, hmm. The timing is off because someone's possibly avoiding a tower here. And you could be dealing with a Leo cancer. It doesn't have to be, but I have Leo energy here. Um, I feel like this is more about courage, about letting things happen as they're meant to happen, not having so much control over a situation, but trusting here that this wheel will eventually turn. I feel like someone's having a little bit of difficulty you know, trusting that this will work out. I'm also getting the sense that, you know, with give your relationship a chance, keep an open mind. It's almost like maybe 
some of you are thinking that this is never going to happen and or like this relationship already had its moment tell me about this knight of cups reverse that's for some of you though i feel like this is more of your person saying give me a chance tell me about the knight of cups reverse emperor reverse aries energy This person, this Knight of Cups reversed, they're not feeling very in control over their situation or this situation between you and them. Ace of Wands reverse. Tower reverse again with the Tower reverse. So, you know, something's not working out for someone. Someone could be very disappointed, heartbroken that this isn't working out for them, that something isn't happening. Something isn't manifesting. Um, they're dealing, you know, it could be this emperor that's not manif able to manifest something. Um, and if that's the case, they're not manifesting this because they're trying to avoid a tower. Um, I feel like there is no, I mean, sometimes you, a tower has to happen in order for a new cycle to begin. Something needs to end in order for something to begin. That kind of energy. Others of you, I feel like this person um, might tell you one thing and do another. So it might be that they might say that they're going to get this new beginning started, that they're going to uh, cause a tower, um, but this might not be true. Be, be very careful what someone tells you. You know, look at their actions, not just their words. Tell me about the higher form reverse. What's this about? This is how to find reverse is out. Ten of Pentacles reverse. This could be definitely a broken commitment here. A marriage possibly. Or just something very long term. Maybe even children involved. You got one more for the higher form reverse. Yeah, this is something that someone was attached to. One of you could be married in this connection, but are not happy or trying to get out of that. Yeah. It's almost like someone's delayed from leaving this connection, this uh, long-term commitment. Yeah. A lot of time has passed. There could be, um, this could be a third party for some of you where, you know, there's a, been a waiting period. It's like someone's waiting for this to end. Five of Swords, someone could have been deceptive about ending another situation or getting out of, it's almost like they said they were gonna get out of a situation, they probably didn't, and then you felt like you had wasted your time or were left waiting for something that just was never going to happen anyway. So let's dig in here. Let's look a little bit further into this connection. First, let's see, you know, what do you need to know about this connection? What do you need to know? What would this person tell you if they could, or what don't you know about what's going on? You know, let's just get the 411 here. Tell me more for Cancer. What do we need to know about this connection between Cancer and this other person's spirit? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection? King of coin. What do we need to know? What does Cancer need to know about this connection spirit? Six of cups. Ace of coin reverse. Strength at the bottom. Again with strength card. This is my new deck. It's a physical deck, the Secret Moon Oracle deck. Um, this is just a sample, but I'm getting a full order soon so I can test it out before I sell it in the shop, but I really love it so far. It, this is basically um, a version of my handmade deck that I've used in the past. I just made a physical one. Spirit, tell me more about what we need to know about this person and what they're thinking or feeling towards cancer or this connection. I want these two. I wasn't honest with you and I need more time. 
Okay. I wasn't honest with you and I need more time. I'm telling you, there's something here with time. Like something here with time, waiting, um, being patient. It's almost like though, like someone has been waiting though. Like I don't, I don't think more time, what for? <laughs> you know, let me know if this is resonating for you in the comments. You know, has this person been taking their sweet time doing what they need to do? Have you been waiting long for this to take place? Tell me about this king of coin. So what you need to know so far, I feel like this is a very special connection with the six of cups. There's probably good memories here. Tell me more about this king of coin. This king of coin can be someone um, who's very grounded, financially successful. They could be a parent or a uh, spouse. Yeah, I feel like this person, this king of coin might have a partner already. I hope you know that um, this partner was a bad judgment call for your person. It could also be that this person wants to grow something with you, expand this relationship, but they have not learned from their mistakes or they're having a delayed awakening or this is delayed, this growth between you and this person. Tell me more about this king of coin. This person could communicate with you with the eight of wands here at the bottom. I feel like they might see you as this nine of coin energy. But with judgment reverse, there's something off here. Um, tell me about this ace of coin reverse. There's an ace of coin reverse. What's this about? Okay, Eight of Wands came out again. So this person wants to talk to you. Okay, Hermit. Page of Cups, yeah. This person definitely wants to talk to you or apologize to you. They've done a lot of thinking here about what they're going to tell you. You know, this could be an apology. It could be expressing how they feel, telling you that they care about you. Um, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, someone could be apologizing about the lack of commitment, um, the fact that they're withdrawn. You know, maybe this is co a conversation coming in after like a, a period of not communicating. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Six of coin, tell me about devil, Capricorn energy, Ju uh, justice at the bottom, Libra energy. I feel like this person has been, their past is keeping them trapped. Whatever happened in the past here. Whether this was somebody that went with someone else or if this is somebody that um, left this connection at some point, I feel like wherever they went, it wasn't good. I feel like there was possibly financial difficulty, some sort of loss for your, for your person or broken commitment, or this is how they acted in your relationship, you know, like... This is someone that you felt very strongly about. You had a soulmate connection. The feelings were mutual. This could even be that you guys have like a real balance about how you feel. You have some lust, some, you know, some, a very physical attraction, but with the Ace of Coin reverse, there's not anything substantial or solid there. There's no commitment, but there's communication. You know, that's what I'm seeing. And there could be like no commitment because someone here is already in a commitment or, or in a situation where they cannot give you what this, what you need. You know, they need more time for some reason here. So let's see, what are the hidden factors here? Hidden factors, please. In this connection, challenges, blocks or hidden factors, please, in this connection. Well, the challenges, the blocks, or the hidden factors. 
in these connections. Okay, we got the Eight of Wands. Hermit, okay, we're getting the same, the same cards. Eight of Swords Reverse. Tell me about the Hermit. Again with Justice. And the Six of Cups. We're just getting the same messages. Knight of Coin reversed. Again with like the commitment is not, is very slow in coming here. Obviously someone needs to break out of their mental prison with the Eight of Swords reverse. I feel like this is a challenge or a block. Tell me more about this Eight of Swords reverse. Why is the Eight of Swords reverse? Why is the Eight of Swords reverse? Ace of Coin reverse. This could be financial. Nine of Swords. Someone's really worried about, I feel, breaking a commitment or the financial uh, difficulty that they're experiencing. The fact that they can't give you a commitment could be an issue here. It's like they're scared or worried. Um, they're, they're, they're having some sort of anxiety here about this Ace of Coin reverse. Five of Coin reverse is all about recovery. Recovery from a loss, um, recovery from financial difficulty, you know, coming back in out of the cold. Someone's really worried. I feel like they think that you might not accept them because what you want, I don't think they can give you at this time anyway. Now with this hermit, it's almost like they're doing a lot of thinking, um, a lot of like reflecting on the past, uh, reflecting on this connection. They're trying to be objective about this, but again, this is just thinking, not actual action here. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is it a challenge, a blog, or a hidden factor? Two of Wands. Okay, hold on. We got, what's this? Fool uh, I, uh, in limbo with the Three of Cups. Okay. Um, and the Two of Wands. Someone needs to make a choice. Do we, Are you going to have this new beginning with me or not? What are you going to choose? Are we going to be successful? Or are you going to care about what people think? Like, what is going on here? Oh my God, what is going on? What is going on? Tell me about the Eight of Wands. I mean, I know my hands are small, but come on, I can shuffle this deck. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. The full reverse. Okay, so the Fool wants to come out reverse. Again, I feel like a new beginning here is, is delayed because someone has to choose a path. Yeah, they're holding back with the Four of Coin, and then I have here the Ten of Wands. So there's some sort of burden or obligation your person has here that's weighing down, weighing them down or weighing down this connection. I feel like someone's holding back from having a new beginning because it requires, a, you know, that they choose a path and stick to it. So let's look at the potential outcome. All right, Spirit, what's the potential outcome here? Potential outcome, please. Seven of coin, waiting and wondering. Ace of swords, reverse and judgment. Okay, so there is gonna be some sort of um, awakening here. Um, I feel like um, with this ace of swords reverse, be very careful. This could be some sort of deception, something that's that you don't know but then I have the judgment card right after. So it's almost like whatever's not clear, whatever is not being communicated or whatever deception is happening here, I feel like there's going to be a judgment call made about that. It's gonna be like something is gonna come, 
something's going to be illuminated. I don't know why I'm picking that up, but that's the word that came to mind. So it's almost like, see, this person has a trumpet. So whatever was hidden is still going to be announced in some way is how I'm, how I am feeling this here. Seven of coin. I feel like this is someone who's wondering if this is ever going to happen, if this is ever going to grow, if this is a good investment, if they've wasted their time, you know, I feel like this, this is what's going on with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be more of a waiting period here. Bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Wands reverse. So very well, that, that burden that came up in the challenges and the blocks, this burden might be dropped. I feel like this Judgment card could also be a second chance, an opportunity for a rebirth in this connection. Uh, I do see that possibility, but for that to happen, this Ace of Swords needs to be turned around. You know, someone needs to either be open and honest or there needs to be clarity. Maybe that's why more time is needed here. Um, thank you so much to everyone who likes, shares, subscribes. If you want to support the channel for free, just like the videos and subscribe. That helps me out a lot and helps the channel grow. Let me know in the comments if this resonated for you and how it resonated for you because I love to hear about that. And I'll see you all in another video. Take care.